Hello everyone. Happy Holy Thursday. I pray that you are all having a restful week, but also a week where you're really diving into the faith for the Holy Triduum, for this Holy of Holy Weeks. It is very important for us to recognize that this week is one of the holiest weeks in the church for a reason. This isn't just a time when you get some time off from work or you get a few days off from school. It's so much more than that. This is a time in our faith life to draw ever closer to Jesus, to be able to see the ultimate sacrificial gift of self that he laid down his life out of great, great love for all of humanity, for you, for me, for everyone. For this week, the Triduum consists of Holy Thursday, which is when the Last Supper took place and the tradition that's held to that for the church is the washing of the feet. Good Friday, which will take place tomorrow, is when the Passion of our Lord happened, when three hours of agony were on the cross. We see our Lord, just the great pain that he went through for our sins to open up heaven for us. And then the tradition that usually goes along with that is the veneration of the cross. On Saturday is the vigil mass, which starts off our Easter season. And normally we also tie the tradition of the sacraments for anyone who's getting baptized, confirmed, First Holy Communion that usually takes place on the Easter vigil. And then of course we have Easter Sunday where hopefully we'll be gathered with family, with friends and with our loved ones to rightfully celebrate this ending of the Lenten season. So the Paschal mystery includes Jesus's passion, death, resurrection, and ascension. It's spread out into these three days. And again, we have this time to gaze upon our Lord, to take time in adoration, to take time to go to mass, to take time for deeper personal prayer, reading with scriptures, spending time with our Lord. This is when our Lord died for us. The uh, Loyola Press had said in one of their phrases explaining what the triduum is, they said, death does not have the last word. For our life and even for Christ's life, we see that he dies, but he goes to heaven. That he, re and then he eventually resurrects from the dead, and then he eventually then ascends into heaven. And for you and for I, death does not have the last word. Once you and I die, the hope is that we go to heaven someday, that we can be able to be met by our God and he can say, well done, my son, my daughter. So for this week, may we not take this time for granted. May we not take this time to do some extra shopping or some extra time hanging out with friends or sleeping in. This is a week to dive into the gospels. This is a week to dive into the passion of our Lord, the Paschal mystery that these three days lay out for us. So do not lose hope because again, death does not have the last word. I pray that Good Friday tomorrow goes well and I encourage you from the hours of 12 to three, try to be in as much silence as you can. Make sure you do not eat meat tomorrow. Uh, maybe try to sway from watching TV, listening to secular music, whatever it is during those hours. Let us continue to be mindful of what this season is all about and to gaze upon our Lord on the cross as often as we can leading up to Easter and onward. So God bless you. I pray that Holy Thursday was great and that you have a beautiful rest of the Triduum. God bless.